guys, it's Janet here. I wanted to take some time and I thought we could open these boxes together. Um, you know, after not opening them yesterday, I keep telling myself, why can't I stick to a diet or an exercise routine? I had enough restraint not to open these boxes yesterday. Uh, the reality is they came a lot sooner than I expected. I thought that they were coming today. And so I had just a full plate yesterday, so I couldn't get distracted, and I am really good at that. So we're going to open these boxes, and we're just going to kind of ooh and ah together, and then I will be doing a much more formal presentation of the new stuff, looking at them as sweets and looking at them as, you know, just the papers and all of that good stuff. But I thought we would actually open these boxes. There's one, th actually two things in here, but one thing in here I just can't wait to get my hands on. I've been waiting since I saw it on stage, and I know that it's going to be one of the first two things that I play with tonight. So let's go ahead and let's go and open these up together. Okay. Hey, guys. I know I had to put on a high shirt to make sure you weren't looking down my shirt while we were doing this together. But let's go ahead and open these. And before we get to going, let me go ahead and turn the commenting on. Let me just answer the one question that some of you may be asking was, did I order it all? No, um, I am in the category of I want almost all of it, not all of it. So um, that is definitely one of the reasons why I didn't order it all, because I don't want it all. But I did order a bunch, and I, hi guys, hi Deb. Um, I always budget to do three big orders a year and to get it all at once and then just to play with it. And that's just kind of how I budget. So we've got this beautiful new ruffled ribbon in the in colors. You can see here the beautiful um, fresh fig and berry burst. And let's just pull at one of these here for just a second and get it out. See if I can hold it up to the camera for you. Oh, it's really pretty. And it looks like it's just narrow enough down the middle where you're going to be able to hold it on with um, tear and tape. So I love the width of that. That's just absolutely beautiful. Oh, these are the new little pillow boxes. I didn't realize they were polka dotted. See, this is why you've got to see things in person sometimes because you miss the fine detail in the catalog as you're going through them. So here you can see, and they're a really nice sturdy cardboard. So, and I, like I said, I didn't realize that they were polka dotted, so that's really cool to see. And, of course, more of our ribbon. We'll just keep piling stuff up here on the floor. We've got new Baker's Twine that has sparkles in it, and I don't know about you guys, but I love Baker's Twine when it's intertwined with the metallics and stuff like that. So that's beautiful to look at. Oh, yay, this is what I've been waiting for. A um, couple of reasons why. I have a bride that I worked with this weekend, one of my daughter's good friends, who is using navy and copper for her wedding color. So I've been dying to see this ribbon with a little bit of the copper twin trim. So I don't know. Let me find out where the camera is at. But it's got just this really pretty. And the copper really, really shows up, guys. So we'll be doing close-ups again of all of these. We'll be breaking them down into the different products and or product groupings. Uh, so let's see what else is in here. Of course, always got to have new stamp sets. Um, I love vintage things, so I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with this, and I can see the copper going to use. Love to travel, so this is something. Plus, it's great for incentive stamps and encouragement and things like that. Let's see what other new stamps we have. The Wishes. I talked to you in the catalog tour about that being a symbol for military children. And as a vet, the military is near and dear to my heart. Something that's going to work great with our Stamparatus. Pop of Petals. We'll be featuring this one on Saturday. I gave my directs, the first 10 to register, got a chance to pick out the products used in at least 10 of the make and takes. We'll probably be doing closer to 20 make and takes. But they had a chance to pick. This one here is, to me, one of those must-have stamp, stamp sets as well, too. Kindness and condolences. The greetings in this one is just, oh, beautiful. Another one of the top ten must-have for me, all the textures. This is the uh, upgraded, modernized version of Itty Bitty Backgrounds, for those of you who have been along, around for a while. We've got our little babies. We've got floral frames. And I'm not showing you the framelits to go with all of them, because I don't want to sit here and take the time to open the packet, but of course, those some of them have bundles. And what's really going to bring them to life, it's kind of fun to ooh and ah and see the stamps. But what's really going to bring them to life is when people start using them. So I said I can't wait to play with them. This is another one of those distinctive stamps. There's three new distinctive stamps, Stampin' Up's patent pending um, line of stamps. And so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to invest in those was because, again, it's unique to Stampin' Up. So 
Bo Bouquet Blooms was another one. And they um, gave me, obviously, the top ten that they wanted to play with prior to me placing my order. This one I had to have after seeing the technique with it, that water lineless water coloring. I am so fascinated by that technique, and I can't wait to play with that technique. And what a great way to sell Smoky Slate, upsell that, um, that pad. Of course, the sweet little elephants. And um, I still have some scrapbook pages to do from Thailand, and of course, elephants are popular symbol of Thailand. I love this, the softness of this one. This one just, to me, creates a feeling. It's the only new birthday set I purchased, but I purchased it not for the birthdays, but I want to be able to use this image. Uh, where is it at? The other side, up here. The hugs. I want to be able to use that on envelopes. That just screamed, stamp me on an envelope to me. Another one of my top 10 must-haves. You're going to be seeing that one used a whole lot. Um, instead of just doodling with a pen, um, I'm going to be able to doodle with stamps. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Sweet little babies. I just think they're so cute. This is one in the, the little jumper. It just makes me smile. What else do we have in here? Of course, we have new sequins that are like the ones that were in the spring catalog. And so we've got them in five different new colors. And I'll be showing you the embellishment samplers tonight then as well, too. This one here is actually on low inventory already. This one here has really caught everyone's attention. It's called um, fluffed or tough, tufted. So it looks like those quilts when they put, or the couches when they put the buttons in them and kind of create little pillowy sections. That's what this ends up looking like. So obviously it's been very, very popular. With my customers, any of anything grape, so grape, heather, and candy apple green have been very um, popular with my customers. We'll take those out of there for now. Those are my gifts for my customers this month. Um, those are all the framelits. We don't need those at the moment to look at. Let's see what else might be in here. Okay, so this is new striped ribbon. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that pretty? And, okay, what is this? I should have got my bifocals. Oh, new magnets for the Stamparatus. And they come in this little box, and when you do order them, they will kind of put up a little warning about, hey, this is magnetic, just so that you know. And you just need to check that box. If your order's not advancing, kind of look up at the top of the screen. But they're packed really nice. It's almost worth ordering them just like this. And what a great way to store them so that they're not going to snap together. I love this. That's very, very smart stamping up. And you can't tell that, of course, in a catalog. We're going to be learning how to use the new embossing mat. I have, this is the second one because I have two, two big shop machines in the house. And um, when people come to my house for make and take events and stuff like that, we also always incorporate what we call playtime into those make and take events. So, you know, obviously I'm going to pick from all of this, the projects that I want to work on, but what's my favorite may not always be those coming to the new catalog launch favorites. And so I always just try to have a stack of cardstock by the big shop machines for them to test new dies and new framelits and um, to play with new mats and things like that. So very trendy. I've been using these this kind of a sign a lot where you put words on the sign. So very, very hot and trendy. Another one of those um, background stamps. Bring stamps to life and add that. This was a beautiful set. This one here, the samples just drew me in. But I also love anything that's a silhouette where you're not seeing their face. You don't have to worry about all that real detailed coloring on a face. And it's much easier to change skin tones and things like that when you've just got that little bit of, you know, side shadow and things like that. So what other ones did we treat ourselves to? Of course, I had already talked about this one here. And I've got um, family members as well as friends with children um, on the autism spectrum. So we have that. Greetings. And my favorite greeting in this one is... You're pretty much the greatest of all time in history of ever. So I love that. And anything calls for a celebration. So I like the generic genericness of that one. And treat time. This goes with the um, pillow box. Or not pillow box. Sour cream container. Oh my gosh. And I purchased this one just for the dreams and the coordinating framelits. I'm not really into sun catchers. But I have been able to budget and build a business such that I, you know, I can justify spoiling myself with just the one words. And I love framelit words. The more die cut words there are, the absolute better for me. Um, fasten with love. 
getting to that age now where grandbabies among all my friends is starting to happen so that's kind of fun this is the other one that i will be playing with tonight you'll see some of the first samples with this so i've got some gifts to get out for another business that i'm part of so i needed that for that so i'll be playing with that that was the one i needed to get my hands on of course i mentioned babies again already we're of that age this was one for team incentives and team rewards i love the greetings in that one so for me, whenever I purchase things, I don't just purchase them willy-nilly. I always have a purpose. My team will tell you there's a reason for everything Janet does. We don't always understand it, but there's a reason for everything that she does. She's got an idea in her head for something. Tropical. And this was one of the other distinctive ones, and this was my number one must-have. I just love the greetings that are in here. I just It's the prettiest get well set I could ever have imagined. And so um, healing, I love this. Healing hugs was my number one absolute must-have. Anybody else have healing hugs on their um, must-have list? Friendly expressions. I'm a huge fan of mixed fonts. I think it draws your eye in and it really gets you to read what's there. So I like mixed fonts. Plus it gives us a chance to do some kind of fun coloring and things that we're, um, we like to do as demonstrators. We have our cute little bunny punch. And I love how they made him not Easter. So that's a lot of fun. Magic's really, really popular. If any of you watch America's Got Talent or British has Got Talent, the number of magic acts is really, really growing on um, that site. And this one I really want to try to get open. I want to see this ribbon because it doesn't look like much. And this ribbon is, don't you laugh at me, guys. I didn't bring my bifocal. Um, textured weave ribbon. And it's got this, I don't know if I can get that close. But um, it's just beautiful. It's got some really neat browns to it. It would definitely be what you might call something masculine that you could use for men. And um, pretty, pretty soft suede, your espressos, your crumb cakes. I bet you put it against granite and it'll even pull some grays in. So that's going to be a fun one to try and play with. So I might have to move that up to my to playlist and play with that one just a little earlier. This is one of our new um, kits. This is the refill pack for it. So if you're one of my customers, it'll little spoiler alert, but you'll be seeing your um, thank you cards made with this set this month. I thought it was very elegant and beautiful. Um, of course, we have new punches. I love that we have the new punches. We have the flower. This is one for this weekend again. And of course, the elephant. There we go. So new punches. Oh, let's see what else is in here. More ribbon. So we have this black satin ribbon. And more of that striped ribbon. What else is in here? Oh, we're getting to the good stuff. We still haven't gotten to my number one must-have. But we have beautiful new papers. And tonight what I'm going to be doing is I'll be doing a Facebook Live probably around 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time if you want to check back. And we're just going to look at all of the new papers. We're going to go sheet by sheet through all of the new papers tonight. So, um, And then the ribbon. So join me back here at 9 o'clock tonight to look at the ribbons and the papers close up. There it is, there it is. This is the one I've been waiting for. You guys are laughing, I'm sure. But this was the paper, and I'll give you just a little sneak peek on this paper and see if I can find the one sheet before I do anything else that pushed me over the edge. Hold on. Is this not the one? Oh, this may not be the one. This is not the set of papers. Oh, well, we'll get to the next one. I thought it was, but this is just all beautiful flowers. So this is called Tea Room. So let me see if I can, we'll find out where that other piece of paper is that I saw. It's not in, I thought it was in Tea Room. See, this is also why you need to see them up close, because when you're looking at them in the catalog, it's something this teeny tiny. And so it's fun to see them up close. Don't forget, I also have product shares for ribbon and designer papers. I'll be putting another order in tomorrow. Let's see what this is. Tropical Escape. So we've got our beautiful tropical papers. See if I can do it this way for you. Pink sand beaches, little drink with the umbrella. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, is there anything else in this one that we want to see? No, let's see if we can. Um, Memories and more will also do a video showcasing those so you can see those elements. Let's see if my paper is in this one. So I do have four live events if you live close to Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, it's well worth the drive. It's a, an, 
long event, 9 to 3 um, on Saturdays. I think it's like 1 to 7 on Sundays. Or so. Don't quote me on the Sunday times. But um, you're going to make almost 20 make and takes. You will have light snacks, all of the adhesive, all the tools. You literally just show up and have a great time experimenting and playing. And those events are open to everyone, the public and demonstrators. So some more of our metallic twines. And there's still time to register. You have until the night before each one. Oh, bling, 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 bling. How can we not love bling? This one goes with the best route, sweet, and then just pretty little pink rhinestones. I think that lady in the tub is going to need a few of those <laughs> to play with those. Okay, see, and this is not quite, okay, oh, guys, look at these teeny tiny red rhinestones. I can tell you they're going to be hot, and everybody's going to want them for Christmas, so you need to put them on your order now. Don't wait for the holiday catalog to come out. You're going to want to be putting red rhinestone noses on any kind of reindeer or oh, trees or whatever. These guys are so cool. Um, Linda asked about how I store my 6x6 six six paper. I'll take a picture of that for you, Linda, and I'll post it for you guys. I found this little plastic three-drawer high thing that is the perfect width at the bottom. Um, the bottom drawer is the perfect size for 6x6, six six, and then the other drawers are where I keep some other type of scraps. But I'll take a picture and I'll show you um, online because it's easier to do a visual than it is to describe it for you. And I do love one of the new things about the 6x6 six six paper now is that it's no longer bound at the top, so I love that. So these are just our little stars, and they're a little flatter, so they're going to mail really nice, guys. They're really, really flat, okay? So let's see what else is in here. Cute little binders. I love to use the binders to hold gift bags shut, so cute little binders. Um, they're also a great way. Um, I know some of you watching are demonstrators, so the binders are a cute way to clip like a wish list to an order form to a few posties or something at your live events and it gets a little color out there and it's just that little extra. Um, in Louisiana, they have one of my favorite words of all time. It's called lanyap. And what lanyap is, is it's just that little extra. It'd be what we would call a baker's dozen where if somebody asks for a pound of sugar, you kind of give a little extra on top. Or if they ask for 12 donuts, you give them 13. That's lanyap. And so just using little clips with a little bow tie to hold papers together and stuff or to clip them to the front of a catalog, that's, that would be considered lanyap. Rose gold thread. We've got Brad's. Oh, my God. Could everybody just hit the love button real, real fast? I mean, like, are we so excited that we have Brad's back? Oh, my gosh. There's not enough love in the world to have Brad's back. And there are, oops, sorry, there are a couple of different families of them. So I'm excited for that. Um, this is the same kind of weave ribbon, but it's our beautiful lemon lime twist, which will go great with that tropical bundle. We have these new pads called Spectrum Pads, and you'll be seeing videos on them. I've given my team some color challenges, um, so we're going to have fun playing with them. But what you do is you can re-ink each one with five different colors, or you can do, you know, like three big stripes. They have a really wide stripe and a narrow stripe and, you know, a narrow whatever. There's lots of things. You can use them individual, or you can slide them together. So lots of possibilities. And these are a great use of your re-inkers, so good use of those re-inkers. Let's see what else is in here that we may have missed so far. And you guys like me, I'm so excited that copper rules in this catalog. Oh my gosh, copper little tins, copper um, foil stickers, copper edged ribbon. So I need to make sure that um, the bride that I was working with also sees these to see if there's a way that we can incorporate those into some of her paper goods. Okay, let's see what... Okay, so this is, the, this is the note card that goes with the refill, so I'm not going to open that one, but this is one of the things that I want to open. Oh, yay! It's as pretty as it looked in the book. Okay, so, and now you can kind of see it in relation to me, like how big this is. It's a really nice size. It's really sturdy, and... I can see giving cookies in this at Christmas time, and I don't even bake. <laughs> but that would mean I'd have to part with it, right? But what's in here is you have a block, you have two ink spots, you have stamps, and a punch. And the punch coordinates with that. What a nice, beautiful presentation. If you've got people that are crafters on your Christmas list, I would order these now. I wouldn't chance them going on back order or being out of stock. Do your Christmas shopping now and, and get this for your favorite crafter. Oh, my goodness. Or if you're a customer and you have a favorite demonstrator, spoil your demonstrator. Be a nice gift for your demonstrator, right? <laughs> okay, so that's those. And um, 
there's more of the striped ribbon. It's kind of like um, a couple years ago, or a couple two years ago, we had like watermelon striped ribbon, and it was wide. This is a narrower, more versatile size. Okay, so we're still missing a few things. Oh, we have little in color flowers, and oh, they're so flat and cute, guys. Oh, these guys, they're like nothing. They're these are the kind of embellishments that I love because they're not real thick. They don't add a lot of weight. Um, I don't have to worry about packaging them funny or protecting them when I mail them. You guys are going to love these. These are going to be perfect for your card making. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, one more package. and Maybe this one has the other thing that I am looking for and one of the first things I wanted to try to make something fun with tonight. So let's see, one more box. Okay, so let's get rid of and set these aside here for just a second. So a few more stamps. Beautiful set here as well. And then this one has a beautiful single greeting framelit that goes with it. Okay. Oh, how fun is that? So a nice little tube. These will be kind of fun to package up um, as well. But they're in color embossing powders. Oh, I love the presentation of them, the packaging. Oh, too fun, guys. Too fun. Okay, I think this is the other one that I was looking for. Let's see if it is. And then the paper's on the bottom of this one. So, I'm going to put that down before I poke myself. If you've ever injured yourself with snips, you know. Okay, so, this is what I'm talking about. See those four little copper tins? Look at these. Oh... Oh, these are going to be so much fun. There's a couple, there's at least three great samples of them in the catalog. But, you know, of course, getting a jump start on Christmas gift giving. But even in general, I, you know, I can see little get well boxes and um, teas. I mean, just all kinds of fun stuff. We'll be brainstorming together how to fill these. But they're just a really nice size and they've got no weight to them. So the real weight would come with what you put in it. Which, again, if you keep it light, like, you know, put gift cards in there in your card and package it all up so they open it. Um, makes it um, a great weight for mailing. You can probably mail this for about $3.50 first class. So that's going to be great for gift giving this holiday season. And let's see what else is flattened in here. Oh, doilies. Do we ever get tired of doilies? And I was curious about one thing. So let me just check because it's one of the things that is important to me. Yay! <laughs> They're neutral on the other side, guys. So look, you've got this. And this is that style from before that we all loved that got retired and look now we have them back okay and of course when they're white on this side it means that you get um, to color them you get to brayer them you get to spritz them you get to brush them you get to emboss them oh my goodness so you've got um, olive um, oh I don't know what new blue this is I'll have to go look it up but look at that pretty blue I might need nail colors like that it's like flirty flamingo and then this is our grapefruit. That I do know. So I need to go look up this new blue. It's too um, too dark to be balmy blue. So we'll have, Oh, you know what? I think it's Coastal Caribbean. I think that's what it is. So then there they are all together. But this is the other plus, guys. Don't miss these in the catalog. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Ooh. So we have cold gold cord. Oh, that's going to be fun to wrap things up. And I've been playing with the vanilla you guys saw during the Facebook Live or the white. And now we have vanilla as well. So to color and to alter. Yep, and then all the papers down here on the bottom. So um, let's see if this is, no, nope, that's the Christmas one. But look at those pine cones. Those are a whole lot of fun. That's the Broadway one, and don't forget that the Broadway bound goes with the new um, Paper Pumpkin. So if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber yet, this might be a great month. Something new that Stampin' Up! is doing is the Paper Pumpkin this month actually coordinates with the Broadway bound suite in the catalog. It would stand alone. You don't need those products, but it does work with those products, which is really cool, and I'm anxious to see what those look like. Oh, they're so right, guys. Oh, yay. Thank you for reformatting these papers, Stampin' Up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, everybody was kind of curious because they had retired our Glimmer paper. 
and but then they brought back glimmer paper totally different weight this is going to and it's not coated on the back it's actually going to be really easy to adhere and to stick and we're going to be able to die cut it like crazy so i know another thing that's on my to-do list tonight i better start drinking coffee now i might not be sleeping but oh my gosh the weight of this guys that was oh thank you stampin up so much that was a nice change you guys are going to really appreciate this this is really really good the ribbon with the wonderful moments oh i know like all this pairing, and then you kind of start going, what do I do? What do I do? What do I play with? So, I, you know, it's trying to keep those blinders on and trying to stay focused. And I'm still trying to, f oh, here it is. I found it. This is what I was looking for. Yay. Of course, it's at the very bottom, right? That's okay. We saved the best for last. Okay, you guys ready? Close your eyes. Ready? I'll tell you when to open them. Ready? Close your eyes. Okay, now open them. Look at that. I mean, like, that just looks like vintage wallpaper. Beautiful. I mean, it's just stunningly gorgeous. Just that piece alone. That's what I've been waiting for. How crazy is it just to be in love with just one piece of paper? I mean, the beautiful soft peonies in it. And then when you pair it. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, now i got to see what else is in there. Oh, they just get prettier. Oh, you guys. Oh, this screams weddings and special occasions. Look how fun this one is. So you can cut them apart and you have card fronts right there i've got nine card fronts that quick and then i've got a pretty bo oops, border or belly band wow Ooh, this is kind of cool this is different looks like somebody crinkled up metallic paper i know i said i'd show you all this tonight but this is the one i was waiting for so indulge me guys i'm so sorry oh my gosh more of that concept and idea look at that you've got six great quick card fronts you've got some really fun borders so again this would be really great for Either scrapbooking or card making. Oh, how fun is that? But yet, if you don't want to use that side, you've got a really fun, nice brush, smoky slate look on the back of that one. That's really cool, guys. Ooh. Okay. My friend Patty Bennett needs to see this paper, which I'm sure she has already. But oh my goodness gracious. This has got Patty's name all over it. Her and her beautiful garden. Look at this paper. Oh, you guys. Oh. And the green in this? This is really fun. It's very kind of trendy bouquet. The green is actually cabbage or a type of lettuce. How fun is that? I would love to have a, a bouquet like that in my house. I wonder how long cabbage stays fresh. And then this gorgeous marble on the back. Look at that. So I didn't quite go through everything. Oh, wait a minute. I see one more. This set here was on my list just so I could decorate envelopes. I'm really bad at not decorating envelopes, and so I want to sit down and just do a couple stacks of envelopes and be ready. My friend Lydia actually said that that's one of the things that she does every time she gets a new pack of envelopes is that she decorates them real fast and puts a stamp on them, and then they're ready to go. It's one less, one less step. Because we know a lot of times it's the complete sets of st steps, excuse me, from making the card to addressing the envelope to stamping the envelope to putting a stamp and you know, I can sit and stamp a whole bunch of envelopes while watching TV with hubby. So, some great things there. And let's see if there's anything else. Of course, we've got the best route paper. And I didn't get all the um, paper in the new colors yet. I, just, I got rose because we don't carry rose, and I wanted to test the feel of that. So, there's more embellishments that I know I missed as I was excitedly going through things and co combinations of things. But, again, you're going to want to make sure that you check back tonight. And um, tonight we'll go through all of the papers together. We'll do a much better up-close look of the ribbons. And we'll even do a much better up-close look at all of the embellishments. That way, too, you'll get a great look at what's in my product share. So thank you guys for joining me in the fun and ooing and aahing. I'll go back through and look at all of your questions. And I promise that I will post that picture of how I store my 6x6. Six six. Um, and a lot of, um, no, the gold cord's not stretchy, but I'll go through and look at all those questions as well, too. So thanks, guys, for spending a little bit of time with me this morning. You guys are great.